Florida. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Day on our Survival Boys and Girls. Today, we return and today, we got some stuff to talk about. Today, the Dev Q&A came out the other day. We're going to be talking about that jazz and we going to be crafting ourselves up a couple of things to make these raiders a little bit happy so we can uh, hopefully knock out that iron hatchet requirement. But I hope you guys had us. We have a fantastic day in the meantime of the most amazing variety. Like I said, today, we're going to be talking about that Q&A a little bit and some of the awesome things and I mean really awesome I went ahead and glanced over it a little bit it's been good because last couple Q&A's have been weird they've just been talking about some like minor rating stuff but now we're back into the juicy stuff boys and that's what I like and hopefully that's what you guys like as well but uh, we got the iron hatchets that to be required uh, we'll just put to the rest of the stuff his uh um I kind of want to put some of these hatchets I'll end up bringing three with us just in case it's necessary then we also got these two we can bring plus the two c4 that is tradition and hopefully we can knock out another c4 as well and we're like two red tickets away so hopefully in this raid we get some red tickets so we can go and plop open uh one of those things but uh back to what i was saying we're also very hungry so we gotta get that sorted and there we are with a whole ton of juicy sticks our tummy is gonna be feeling real full but so uh, we're gonna go ahead and ooh, we can actually toss some sticks over there we're gonna go ahead and start making our way over to the raid as soon as we actually plop open a couple of puppies because as you guys know yesterday we had uh, probably the worst pack luck in the absolute world that is goes without saying right well uh, today hopefully we can redeem ourselves and get a c4 while we're at it so why don't we head on over here to uh, some of the inbox i went ahead and got a couple of these packs for unlockings i definitely didn't want to get a lot just because they're more expensive than the packs for stash making but the odds are that potentially we get some good and we do get iron hatchets while we're at it too and we did need one more iron hatchet to wrap up the uh, quest for that. So hopefully we can do a little bit of a double whammy. That's where this thing's kind of nifty too. It helps you knock out the iron hatchet quest. Even though that's not too hard, usually a stack of like uh, tape, stack of nails, stack of... Ooh, AK-47. Kalashnikov. Yes, I like stack Kalashnikov. I would more enjoy stack of uh, C4 and high explosive. But I will take what I can get, you know? But that's the cool thing about this, I guess, is that it can help you knock out the Iron Hatchet quest and the uh, C4 quest. Although, it's just, I don't know, man. It's too expensive. I, I like the dollar packs. You know, those are, I, I don't know, dude. Two dollar packs, that, that's stretching it because uh, all we ever get is disappointment. But it's okay. I'm used to the disappointment. But uh, anyways, why don't we talk to you? He still wants... We're going to have to skip through that. That's okie dokie. But hopefully, uh, we'll actually get that red ticket. And then we can start another Raiders quest line. And then we can go open up the red crate. And if we're lucky, get a C4 out of that and knock it out for the next one. If that makes sense. I know that seems a little bit convoluted. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fan freaking fantastic with that last iron hatch you grabbed. Let's complete the quest. We will start making our way over there. Yeah. Yes, it will be marvelous, and uh, I'll go ahead, actually put a couple of these iron hatchets away, and then we'll begin talking about a weekly Q&A. So without further ado, if you guys don't know, every week, Kafir usually drops themselves a little bit of a weekly Q&A, where they talk about questions and answer them, and that type of jazz. So pretty solid, right? Well, the last couple weeks, I've been talking about minor rating stuff, but today, they're back to actually mixing it up and talking about a variety of stuff, which is honestly pretty, st like, I don't know, that's got me stoked, and hold on, can I actually put any of this gas away before we venture out of our home uh yeah we can actually put some away that's right i just like leaving some empty gas room here and i'll also make sure that we start we use our gas for the journey but without further ado let's get to talking with number one so number one over here when will the female character be available kind of tired of running around with red shorts and a beard we've already showed you the concepts and animations of a female character she is ready we just need the right time and event to add her to the game we're working on one right now as usual we can't really reveal any exact date it will be released as soon as it's ready and i know some people recently have been getting kind of flustered with kafir saying that it's coming where it'll be ready and that type of stuff but uh you also got to think about it that kafir does want to release these things in like packages where it kind of makes sense you know like it'd be cool to add. honestly i think the female character might come with the chinese new year because they're saying we're working on one right now the chinese new year event has leaked and honestly we have seen the first female character in that chinese new year so 100 i could totally see that happening speaking of that i am actually really hyped for the chinese new year stuff to uh come because there's gonna be the ability for us i don't know it, it, it just seems cool i love having new places to go to new events and i don't know dude this this is just a little bit too perfect I 
I seriously think that a Chinese New Year is when they're going to be dropping it. But I'd love to hear that from you guys, your thoughts, your opinions, maybe your thoughts even on my hypotheses on what I got to say in that comment section down below. And reminder, so that comes to put you a third of the way into the week of $25. I do such a place store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure, make sure it's that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Boom, shaka, laka, boom. You entered in on this video. You guys can enter it on every last day on earth video, past and future and present. And when Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random last day on earth video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that would be the winner that is announced then. Dope rules, I know. So I'm actually, I don't know, dude. I got a really good feeling that the female is gonna come with the Chinese New Year. But hopefully they actually, I've heard some people say that they might even be changing the Chinese New Year event a bit since it got leaked out so early. And speaking of that, dude, Chinese New Year is in like the middle of February. So Kafir usually likes to release the update for the new year, like a week or two before that, or the update for an event, usually a week or two before the actual like holiday. And I guess people start celebrating the Chinese New Year a little bit earlier too. So I could 100% see the new year kind of be in the next update that we get potentially at the end of this week. If not, my best guess is that in the next week is kind of worst case scenario, but that's just my guess. I don't know this type of stuff. Some people, like they ask me, like I know facts. When I say facts, I say facts. But right now, this is just my thoughts off of like educated guesses what they've done in the past etc etc but why don't we put the past away put the future ahead and move on to number two can you remove the big one when raiding enemy bases so we can at least have a fighting chance with bloaters and toxic abominations he comes only when the level of noise gets to its maximum so just be quiet i know some people as well have been kind of they haven't been too happy with the fact the big one comes they're like oh it's not realistic the zombies are protecting the base but i mean th it, they, it's kind of like a way of adding balance you know because if you just let someone raid a base non-stop and just keep going you just bring an inventory full of stuff Stuff and you can break everything in this way there's a little bit more strategy to it i guess which i guess is the type of way that they're going for the event and keep in mind as well that they are kind of like changing the event as it goes maybe they'll like give you a little bit noise leeway or something but i mean if you play your cards right usually the noise meter you can definitely get to their best chest if you like strategize a little bit uh let's move on though so number three, I've been playing for six months and I lost my level 79 account. It was saved on Google Play, but now it's gone because of Loot Me accounts. I restarted and all my progress is gone. Any suggestions? I lost my account after update 1.7.2 and haven't received any gifts yesterday. Why? We've seen many comments like this one on Facebook, Twitter, etc. We're very sorry for the situation and would ask you to contact our tech support team at kafirgames.helpshift.com. Our specialists will need to take a closer look at your situation. Different things could lead to it and be, we need to check your accounts in order to help you. It's not an issue to be solved in the comments i think i saw kafir talk about how like there's not like one universal fix they have to look at everyone's situation differently so if this is still affecting you make sure to contact the help support and uh, just keep in mind that they are probably getting billions of requests <laughs> oh maybe not billions but you know what i mean they're getting a poop ton of requests so it might take a little bit so just kind of be a little bit uh aware of that i suppose and uh, also back to point two as well i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the big one idea like i know like uh, trust me i would love to raid a big without having to worry about the big one really i would because then i could definitely get everything but it makes sense from a balance perspective and a lot of games you try to find that balance where things aren't too op they're not underpowered you got to find that sweet spot and kafir literally said that's what they're going to be doing with the raider but i think the big one is here to stay but I could definitely see it potentially giving you some noisely, a little bit more uh, noise before he comes. I could see that happen. That might be a solid solution. But uh, solution to, I don't know, I was going to try to make a complex uh, transition to number four. Isn't there supposed to be some form of balance of the events? When a new event is added, the previous one seems to disappear. What happened to the crash ship event, for example? I would love to know because the crash ship event honestly should return we're working on different events releasing and kind of testing them and then look at the results the crash ship event is not among the most popular ones okay i'm calling shenanigans on that kafir you know why it's not the most popular because it popped up every like three to five days so people couldn't go to it when it happened people freaking love that event don't give me that man it's because that event gave us way too much loot and they realized okay i'm sorry but taking out events just be like that is the worst reasoning at oh it's not it's not popular enough yeah it's hard to be popular when it pops up every three to five days some people were getting that thing like once a week like don't even give me that all right i have no clue why they took it out not because the popularity because people loved that and people were not happy when it got taken out so 
Give me a better reason, Kafir, because that is not one. I'm sorry, and I would love to see it come back, especially, you know, it would be awesome if they brought back, like, the smugglers camp and the shipwreck events, but the shipwreck was maybe, like, a shipwreck of some dude, like, building a base or something. So maybe, you know, they could bring down the loot and make it more, like, wood planks and just kind of stuff to level up your walls, and then maybe bring back the smugglers camp and make that kind of, like, a raid place. Maybe, like, you could trade some stuff for C4 raiding materials. Maybe you could talk to the leader of the raiders there. It just sucks to see them like develop these things and then literally just be like oh I guess it's not popular enough and just throw it out like no no Kathir that's shenanigans don't give me that give me a real reason okay saying it's not popular enough is not one and I think you guys agree with that too okay because a lot of people were bummed when that thing got removed number five after listening to community feedback are you planning to reduce the difficulty for the quests for raiders players feel they are forced to do the bunker and it takes a long time to make three deals with the trader are you planning to make the quests with raiders a one-time thing or will we have to do them every time in the future as well it's definitely not the final version so i think that's a good sign that they kind of see the feedback and they're like wow a lot of people are not happy with how this is going currently so hopefully they keep just keep on giving those feedback keep on telling them tweet at them post on their facebook post stuff on reddit just keep on making that noise and make sure you let them know that right now honestly the quest is it's too hard man it is to so have to do that every single time either make the dealer easier to talk to maybe make the c4 possible to get out of yellow crates too or something but having to do that quest every single time for one raid is just ridiculous and even if you want to spend coins on it if you want to do the math for this hold on let's let's do a little bit of math here if you want to spend the coins on it it costs usually right around i think uh, 800 to like a thousand gold to do a uh, thousand gold right here you can see costs right around 30 bucks so yeah it's literally 30 bucks pay to raid which is kind of ridiculous to be fair after you do buy the most expensive one you can get a but like a ton 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 of coins for way cheaper but it's also like six it's, i think it's like 60 bucks for like five thousand or like six thousand coins but you still have to spend 30 on like a freaking scam of a coin over here when like as soon as you're done you actually get a good deal on coins man it's that's some shenanigans but yeah i i really hope that they really do listen and really do switch it around because it is i don't know man it is because like i don't like spending coins on it all right i like giving y'all freaking dope videos but i do not like spending coins on it it is I don't know it's just too hard of a quest and i definitely i think i know what you guys think about that but again feel free to voice your opinions there lads and lasses and i kind of having to do with number five you got number six how close are you to finishing the raid system concerning the amount of feedback we received so far there are many things to do this kind of just has to build off a of number five and i guess it's a good sign that again they are hopefully going to listen to us and like i said i just really hope that they make the raiders like the quest a little bit easier and hopefully like i've been saying man hopefully within the next couple updates they actually managed to add in some defenses like the bear trap the auto turret dude the auto turret like hackers have already like managed to place it in the game so i really have high hopes that hopefully we'll be able to put that thing down so because imagine that's just that's even gonna make base rating more fun it's gonna make it more challenging but more fun because you have to be careful not to find out like the room where the turret is you know the turret's gonna be able to defend like big rooms just cool stuff like that and i'm i'm just really looking forward to having more traps and more defenses to be able to put down and i imagine you guys are as well but with that said let's move on to number seven will there be a way to exchange item when multiplayer is added yes for example something like dying near your friend and giving them a chance to loot your backpack so i think like they've talked about trading coming in the future so i think trading might be more like trading with ai than like trading with other players because here they're saying that you have to like die give your friend a backpack or something like i guess there could still be an honor system and having to trade other stuff like hey i'll die here's my backpack uh, i'll have some stuff in there put some stuff back in there so i can loot when i come back something like that but that's also gonna be cool that when multiplayer does come you will be able to pick up stuff off of other people and i don't know it's it'd be odd it's kind of an odd way of doing it but it will be a way of trading stuff with other players which is always good to have like the ability to do that number eight could you tell us if at the end of the beta when the game will come out completely you intend to reward the players who play free to play to live the game a little better or will you reward all beta testers equally the reward is likely to be the same for all beta testers and hopefully that is going to be a dope reward like we saw a really dope reward a for kafir messing up that's sorry crate really awesome we saw the dope reward for christmas when we got like the vss full swat armor stack of first aid kits that was dope because vsss's are dope and uh, hopefully they have an equally dope or even doper reward for when it does come out of beta and i can see that happening because coming out of beta is probably a lot bigger of a deal than let's say 
I don't know what 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 would be a good way of put then then like just a random holiday. Okay, Christmas is a pretty big holiday, but still, I, I think you guys know what I mean. Number nine, you mentioned crawling is possible to add in the game. Any idea of how it would work? Not like you'll be able to crawl under a neighbor's fence. It's more like you'll be able to crawl to the map border to heal yourself in case you've been injured or something like that. So it sounds like kind of like there'll be like a downing system where if you take enough damage instead of dying, maybe this will be a co-op thing. Instead of just dying and having to respawn, you can like go down. Maybe I think they talked about this before where a friend will be able to like help you up by like I think bringing you to the edge of the map so maybe he'll be able to cover you while you crawl to the edge of the map which is pretty cool and finally number 10 is there gonna be a kind of war among clans yes clan wars confirmed boys and oh my god my clan is gonna leave a flaming path of war behind it I hope you guys, if you if you don't end up in my clan, and hopefully clans can be really big, because I want freaking every one of you guys in here. I want the biggest clan in last day on earth, and I want us to just terrorize everyone. No, no, not that, but we will we'll definitely have fun doing clan activities and hopefully being the strongest clan in all of last day on earth. That is the plan. And I'm honestly really excited for that. And I'd really love to hear your guys' ideas for clan wars. Like I think it's gonna work like a lot of other games, kinda like Clash Royale, that type of stuff. Wait, does Clash Royale clan war no clash of clans where you like go to war with someone you battle maybe you have to like raid each other's bases like i there's so much cool potential for that but just the fact that we will be able to go to war with clans and it's not just gonna be like oh hey i'm in a clan i can talk to my clan mates we can do some co-op together no you can do hopefully what will be the biggest pvp events in the form of wars but with that i think that's enough said about the q a because that's the 10 points that we're talking about i would love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below what you think of each of them points or just what you think are like the most important points or any ideas you might have that'll put you a third way into the giveaway y'all know what to do to get the rest of the way in and i'm just excited because this q a did have some awesome stuff to talk about and whenever a q a has awesome stuff to talk about i guess what i am a happy freaking boy scout aka a happy freaking camper but with that we have run out of uh stuff to craft we got the hatchets we got the level two hatchets let's head on into battle and hope for the best what will the best be i don't know i suppose we'll have to uh find out and play it on here but it, it feels so good because the last two q a's like the the first q day of 2018 was just talking about the changes that 1.7.2 is gonna bring and we ended up talking about that a little bit uh anyways and uh, ooh, this is a good little base here i like what i see also i can't move for some reason hello game i am stuck Hello, game. Game. Oh, no. Are you serious right now, man? What? Why Why can my dude not move? Hold on. We got to, uh... Okay. Wow. Thanks, game. I think, I think this raid literally might be glitched because my dude came with the chopper at the absolute worst angle. Are you serious right now? How do you get stuck, mate? Mate. You know what? Hopefully, we don't spawn in next to our chopper again. I hope because we already probably raised the freaking noise meter by doing this, which is just awesome. Dude, did it did this raid actually just glitch out? Like, please tell me it didn't. Please let me spawn somewhere on the map that isn't right next to my chopper. And please don't raise the noise level, even though I know it probably did get raised. Uh, yeah, it got raised. Dude, my dude cannot my dude's literally stuck in the chopper. What is this? What the What in tarnation? I legit cannot move. Would ya would ya would ya? What you, hello, hello, anybody, I'm right here, please, I, I literally can't do a thing, not a single thing, I can't shoot, I can't move, I, I can click on the heavy baggage, I guess, but can I, can I equip something else, can I, uh, there's, this is, this is, what, are you, are you serious, well, I, I think I need to back out of the game then until this hopefully fixes itself because uh, this isn't good. All right, I have no clue what happened. I closed out of the game. I came back in and it's working again. So that's uh, just really, really freaking weird. And speaking of really freaking weird, this guy has a rather big base, doesn't he? I think he might have a layered base. Ooh, we got level one walls, though. You know I'm going to break into these instead. This is going to make life way easier. Uh, let's get to breaking then, shall we? Oh, and our noise reset for some reason. No clue why that happened, but hello. I, I like that. And oh my goodness gracious, he has one layer of walls. RIP to you, my friend. Hopefully, oh, that's awesome. We had to break one thing 
Now comes the question, can we find where his best stuff is? This right here, calling it right now, that's a food chest. This... Oh, wait, the colorful chest, dude. I'm just saying, when someone colors a chest, usually they put their best stuff in there. And I don't know. I'm just, just kind of brainstorm. Mm, I mean, that's okay. Listen, I'll take some armor if I can. All right, we, we found nothing better yet. So for now, that's the best loot that we got. What about Mr. Blue Chest over here? Because this guy seems to have, he's, been, he's put in like five, five engine parts. Gah! It just, it pains me that people put their engine parts in. It's good for them, but bad for me because I would like to steal them and I would love to steal that VSS. Thank you very much, lad. Oh, this is a great start already. So I guess if you guys want to mislead people who are raiding your base, make sure to color your chests that have nothing in them because uh, people tend to put their best stuff in the colorful ones. In the meantime, now that we've gotten the colored chest, that's always priority number one. Colored chest. Priority number two, these chests. Full of emptiness and absolutely nothing. I suppose that's okay. And we got these guys to deal with. Hello, buddies. How do you do? Yeah, you guys gotta die. Please step away from the Papa Star. Keep all hands inside of the Papa Star vehicle. Thank you very much. All right, floater, floater. You gotta go too. Oh, you got one hit off on me. I'm guessing this is gonna be for the Jikey here. We got a workbench and we got the ATV. This one might be okay. This uh, this one could be an okay one. This one could be pretty solid too. Usually the ones by like the motorcycles and by like the ATVs, I feel like they have uh, uh, just crippling emptiness and just sadness inside. <laughs> Dang it, man. One of these have to have something good. Maybe we should go uh, looking around for some trunks because right now we're... Uh, oh, we got some trunks down here. Actually, cheeky cheeky. Those things are kind of out the way, a little bit hidden. He's got a high quality spear there, but I don't know. We haven't found anything super valuable yet. Like, he still has to have the random loot, like the wrenches and stuff, because I don't think he's invested anything, any of his wrenches into stuff. And there we have it, lads. That's what I like to see. Woohoo! Let's just take out these dudes before they bring too much pain and suffering to us. And uh, let's hope that we have enough here to uh, kill these guys. Oh, no. We might, uh, we, might, we might be out. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Hold on. Uh, do we have any silenced weapons? <laughs> I don't think we do. Oh, no. I, we got the VS. Dude, I'm trying to keep that VS as full quality, man. Hold on. We got to do some kiting. We got the struggle. You guys know the struggle. We've done this struggle before. We got to open out up some chests while we're on the run here. Actually, we could just use these spikes, too. I think using the spikes will be a fantastic addition. I have no clue why my game just happened to glitch like that, though. That is very, very whack, to say the least. And I think the other dude may have died or he's just slower. I, I don't know and there's like no there's only those three random spikes over there uh, okay so let's go to once we get over here all right let's uh inventory go 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 inbox give me weapons give me weapons now 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 modified weapons go 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 quicker quicker I need a, I need a silence gun silence gun this is not gonna be silenced is it ow ow oh no no we gotta go gotta go gotta go 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 gotta go gotta go oh my god they both are here are here no 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 I guess I just use the VSS because I, I I don't this is gonna be a struggle man all right I'll just uh take you guys out the easy way although you i'm not gonna use all, i'm gonna use some of my shots on the vss here uh but i'm gonna let you die on these spikes because uh yeah i'm not trying to where did you just go did he just start running towards the wall because i was hugging the wall i'm just gonna wait for him to die <laughs> there you go sorry buddy hate to see it go down like that absolutely do breaks my heart all that uh generic sad stuff that people say uh now then on to the happy stuff that we say that's enough red tickets for a little bit of a red bunker crate that makes me happy we can also make sure to nope i like i like good armor uh, let's definitely make sure to put our better armor on here we got plenty of armor back at home we might end up uh i, I think we'll end up probably ditching some of this although in the end we'll probably end up ditching the hatchets and stuff I have way- eh, might as well take the weapon parts. Those are still valuable, but, uh, this chest then I also have high hopes for. This one is in as much of a corner as you can possibly be. Is that for- it's- it's cause it's literally just hot trash. Okay! Well, I don't think we're gonna be finding any silenced weapons here in our adventures, so let's hope that we maybe get a little bit lucky and find one here in our modified weapon crate because, uh, we're definitely in need of something with a silencer on it, dude. Those things are in high demand, and that demand, oh, it's been met with a fully modded AK. Yes, I like this. Did that razor noise by opening stuff? Or am I just crazy, you haven't seen that? I, I might just be crazy. Can you, uh, oh, our inventory's full. Okay, and we're starting to get thirsty. Can I drink the gas? No, oh, didn't think so. Um, hold on, because I can't throw anything out here. Also, I should put these things away. Uh, also, I should really hope that I find some water but I don't want to open a water crate on purpose. You know what I'm saying? 
Ooh. This uh, fully modern AK should get us through the struggle here. I'm leaving those VSSs though. VSSs are bay. Uh, maybe this thing. I have high hopes for this because it's pointing at the ATV. Maybe, maybe. If not, actually, do we have any trunks or is that have we looted all the trunks? I think we have looted all of the trunks. Okay, with all the trunks looted, I suppose we just gotta start. Just gotta start guessing, looking at things. What are they close to? That type of jazz and uh, hoping for the best. That's not the best. That's just kind of okay. Also, don't know why I opened this because this thing's like a sewing table or whatever. These two, on the other hand, might be okay. There might be some medical supplies. Buy a couple of these. Maybe this will have. This is by like those kind of like workbench things. Maybe. Yeah! That's got the uh, goods. That's got them. And these guys, they got the feist. Feisty little boggers they are. All right, let's go. I got it. Oh, what the? Shoot that guy! What is you doing? There's a dude coming for us. We gotta, we gotta end him. Oh, speaking of that, there's a lot of abominations coming for us. I'm thirsty. Yeah, you are, my dude. We might, uh, we might want to figure out this thirst problem quickly because I, I, I should have some berry tea. Uh, do we have an empty inventory slot? We don't. Hold on. Let's uh, finesse ourselves a little bit of an empty inventory. But look at that. That's another thing. Close to the workbenches, usually a good sign. Close to the first aid bench, also usually a pretty solid sign. Not as good, but still pretty good. Uh, let's start putting the hatchets away. I'll take some planks so we can craft up some more level 2 hatchets. Um, why don't we head on over to the inventory? No, it's there. Where is my berry tea? There it is. I needed your berry tea. I don't know when I got a stockpile of you, but I am happy. That I have a stockpile of you. And I wish you would heal my health a little bit. Like berries heal my health at least. You do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, anyways, we, we picked up the aluminum. Yes. Uh, probably some nails. So we, we need those. Some tape. That'll help us craft up another batch of level 2 hatchets. Might as well grab the rubber parts. Uh, those are pretty solid. And we'll put the hat away. Honestly, I'm pretty good on armor. Uh, before we summon the big one too. I think we can open up one more chest before it gets summoned. I think, because, yeah, this wave, that was the wave that brought the uh, hammer down. Oh, there we go. That was a bit glitchy. Yeah, we should still be able to open up two more chests, I think. I'm going to eat all your berries because I lost some health out of those shenanigans. Take your one first aid kit. Thank you kindly. Uh, wow, never mind. Uh, my first aid kits are full. Probably should not have let them be full. Um, and with that, I, I maybe buy these things. I have high hopes for. I don't know. This, I think we already got the stuff by the workbenches. And I mean, there's not a lot of amazing stuff to grab. There's, there's a lot of good stuff, don't get me wrong, but we've got the amazing stuff already. Uh, I, I let's just go and put the rest of it away. But I'm happy we got the red tickets we needed, because that puts us in a marvelous, absolutely marvelous position to win. And it's also weird, like, our noise was reset down to zero. I feel like closing out of your game, if you, like, accidentally make some noise or something, might potentially work like maybe it doesn't work once you break in because i didn't do anything i was just like exiting the map and stuff and it was happening but uh, i could totally see something like that potentially being possible uh now then uh let's actually use this empty water bottles here give us as much as we can handle put uh, actually can we pour a little bit more okay we have the one extra i'll probably end up tossing that one extra one gas is not worth like a stack of pine planks or something we could probably be grabbing like solid base this guy has but it definitely wasn't uh, of the defensive variety unfortunately for him although at the end of the day this is a copy of the player's base i am pretty sure i feel like that's been like relatively pr i know some people i don't know i don't know it doesn't make sense because otherwise like some of these bases are definitely not people who have accepted raiding i'm telling you that right now some of these bases are definitely not people who have said okay i'm cool with raiding like, with how bad some of them are, they're like, not bad, but, you know, not prepared for raiding. It's just like, um, I don't know. At least, at least that's my two cents. And also because we would be getting raided more often and just the way that the raids happen is a lot of, like, AI stuff. I don't know. All right, I've talked about this extensively before, and my train of thought currently is more focused on the math quiz I got to take after this video instead of uh, the logic behind that. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck on that, by the way, boys. Okay, we'll be putting these things away. This is what we are left with. I'll probably end up leaving that berry tea. We got four slots to go. And honestly, we really don't have anything super worthwhile picking up. Like, we could pick up some armor, I guess. Maybe just give that to the dudes who show up and just be like, Hey, here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Raiders. I got stuff for you. And then they become, like, really happy with us or something. Because it's just like, eh, I don't know. 
Nothing really super valuable. This guy's chest right here looks a lot like my chest at the bunker, funnily enough, dude. My bunker is organized exactly like that. It's got the same columns and the same items. Kind of wacky, yo. Uh, now, unless we're missing something here, I think we're, uh, I think we're golden, pony boy. Not much else for us to be grabbing. Let's just, uh, throw the Hail Marys and hope for the best. I think these two chests might have the best. I feel like this chest corresponds to that. This one might correspond to those. Or potentially the chest behind it because there are two chests back to back or maybe this is gonna be like wooden stuff oh actually i i like coal a lot more than i like this other stuff because uh if you guys don't know i need a lot of coal because i have a lot of copper i'm still smelting down and copper takes its sweet 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 time to smelt down but let's see what's in here hope that it's good and if it isn't we gotta run for oh yeah buddy yeah buddy yeah buddy yeah buddy hold on i'm just i'm just tossing out the stuff here uh, i'd love to pick this up i'd love to ah uh, goodbye barry t all right i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out bless up that we found that chest oh my god this raid redeemed itself at the last second and hopefully we can ju out juke the freaking big one juke 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 ah, freedom and victory of course not the like freedom with the healthy healthy side serving a victory to really get the blood pumping oh my god bless up that we found i'm told you guys man always check by the smelters people like to put stuff by where they're worked on so it only makes sense where do you smelt down iron and stuff where do you work on it well a, a, a furnace so yeah makes sense to me but with that, uh, let's run on home, make our way over to the bunker as well, or potentially, why don't we just kick off next step, hmm? Because we haven't opened up the red crate yet. Yeah, actually, that's the thing. Unfortunately, like I said, I do need to run and kind of get some last second studying in for this math quiz I got to knock out. Wish me luck on that, but I will just go ahead and kick off next episode heading on over to uh, this area. But dude, that, I, I was panicking so hardcore right there. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that chest to be that good. <coughs> I wasn't expecting a giant coffin out of nowhere too. <gasps> Put him in a coffin. <laughs> oh my God, I was coughing so hard. I got a couple tears, a couple of manly man tears, but tears nonetheless. Oh. Oh. All right, Raiders, what's good, homie G's? What would you like from me? Do you like coal? No, they don't like coal. Okay, I understand that. Um, do you like copper? Oh, good thanks. I wasn't gonna give you that anyway. Do you like this? Mm. They want more. You guys are great ill uh, buggers, ain't ya? Not bad, you can do what you want. Okay, you know what I might do? I might just head on over and actually, do you guys like iron? Uh, not bad, you can do what you want. Okay, and then if I toss a stack of wood in there, maybe two stacks of wood, no. I just wanna get more reputation out of this than like nothing, you know what I mean? I don't mind sacrificing that. As long as we're getting aluminum plates, I, have, I, I don't wanna leave, ah, I just hate giving them aluminum, dude. Stuff is so useful. Like, God, why do you make me make such hard decisions, game? I don't like making hard decisions. Give me easy ones. This is too difficult. Um, psh, I, I gotta find some stuff to give these guys. All right, I, I, I think we just gotta settle for giving them a, a stack of the gun oil. Why? What? I, I'm still gonna leave some gun oil for me because it might be useful down the line. Maybe we'll need it for like the turret or something. Maybe like we can. Use, oh, that'd be so cool if you could use gun oil to upgrade a turret. But I'd, I'd like to stockpile a little bit of aluminium. Seems true. Yes, it does. How true? Ten is still true enough for you. Five, that works. Okay, what if I give you that stack of iron with it? No! What in tarnation? What, what will please you? Dear goodness. All right, why don't we give you seven? This works, but you could have taken more. Okay, how about I give you eight? If I can add up to eight. How the hell do we add up to eight? Uh, two and six. There we go. Is that enough for you to be happy there? Not bad. No. Okay, I'm just gonna give him. It seems like ten. Ten's a pretty good number. I'll just end up giving him. I, I totally messed this up here. Severely, actually. Oh, dude, this is too much math, man. And I have a math quiz soon. Okay, there we go. That should be ten. He said seems true for the ten. Knew I could trust you. Enjoy your gun oil, mate. I right, enjoy it and just make sure that you give me the good rep. And uh, we definitely got some good stuff out of this. So I 
am happy with those results. But uh, with that, I think that that is a great point for us to go ahead and end this video off on. Like I said, we'll go ahead and kick off next episode by popping open that red crate and seeing what lies within. And I uh, can't wait to hear what you guys say about the Q&A. Best of luck to you guys in your raid and event and endeavors and in your raid and defense. Best of luck joining the Chopper Squad, however you guys are trying to do that. And it's best of luck being the fan for fantastic people I know you are. Having a more fan for fantastic day from here on out. Spreading that positivity. Of the most amazing variety. But that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys. All time for watching. That was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.